This is a video about automatic detection of potholes on a concrete surface uh, using mobile laser data. In my example, uh, the source data is the result of mobile scanning of an airport runway. Data was captured from uh, one mobile drive pass in the middle of the object. Now you see uh, whole data thinning by 10 times uh, to get an overview. For processing, I created a TerraScan project and uh, divided the uh, whole data set into blocks. The first uh, step is a surface classification uh, to get rid of uh, possible above ground objects like uh, lamps, signs, uh, erroneous points, and uh, so on. At the same time, it's necessary to preserve as much as possible points that actually belong to the surface, including small potholes. Classification steps uh, and parameters depend on uh, data. I mean, density, noise level, etc. So, now I can run my uh, classification macro on uh, the project and wait for the result. Job is done. And now I load one of the blocks to show further processing. I will use a small portion of data for testing. Use clipper tool to unload unnecessary points. My next step is a distance computation. So I set the display mode in view one and view two uh, to clearly see the result. I set distance visualization and open the appropriate palette. I select smooth fill option in the view one and set weight two in view two. Now run compute distance tool for points in the surface class. Uh, in this case, roughness option is used. Uh, it calculates uh, distance as a deviation from a uh, local plane fitted to nearby surface points. Run tool and wait the result. Here is the result. And I can check it using vertical sections. Now I can run distance computation on the project using macro. So macro is complete. 
and we can load any block and check the result. Finally, it is possible to save the result as a georeferenced uh, raster image colored by distance. In uh, my case, image uh, will be tiled into separate rasters according to vector elements in the SPX file. Select vector tiles. and run export raster images tool from the project window. Select distance options, class surface, use the same palette for distance visualization, let it be one centimeter resolution, then select target folder and click OK. So rasters are created and loaded as a reference in Terraphoto. Uh, there is a note, if you don't have Terraphoto installed, you can use standard SPATIX tools to attach raster files. That's all. I hope this video was useful for you.